Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Carson. I am the Chief Security Scientist. So what is the difference between password managers and PAM tools or privilege account or privilege access management? Well, there's a major difference between those tools is that organizations, password management managers are not new. They've been around for many, many years, uh, but they have evolved significantly. Their feature sets have expanded, their integration has also become uh, quite significant. However, password managers for most organizations is really delegating the password strategy and password um, creation and generation and rotation to the employee. What you're doing is you're pushing it to the employee for them to manage it themselves. You're pushing it for them to come up with good mechanisms and good ways to create unique passwords for each account. So it's really about delegating it to the employee. So you are you know, solving the password managing issue a little bit, but you're not really taking it to the level where it should be, especially in organizations that security is now becoming a very, very important uh, critical measure. Where privilege account or privilege access management is really differentiating is what it's doing is it's still giving the employee the ability to use um, those accounts and to rotate those passwords. However, what it's doing is it's managing them centrally. It's making sure that you have consistency across all of the password creation, the password rotation, the uh, integration within other solutions, whether it being Seams or Active Directory. So the integration is much more enterprise ready and much more central reporting as well. So you have that visibility. Uh, so there's a major difference between password managers where you're really delegating that responsibility to the employee where privilege access management really takes us centrally and allows much more consistency, better integration, and much more auditability and reporting. And that's where really those two are differentiating between each other. What's the big difference between privilege account management and privilege access management? Because we've heard those terms used interchangeably, uh, but there is big differences between both. Um, when we talk about privilege accounts, that was really the next evolution from password managers. It was now not just managing the password itself and the rotation and the creation of those passwords. What it was managing was the actually usage of the account, the expiration date of the account, the access workflows, the security controls of the account itself. So it was really more focused around the privilege account itself rather than just the password by itself. And that's where we get, get, got the terminology privilege account management. Now there is a big difference between privilege account and privilege access. Privilege access has now been the more modern term of the next generation of PAM. And that really focuses around not just the managing the account itself, but also enabling the usage of the account. Is how does the employee, the administrator, the help desk worker, you know, the security um, analyst, how do they start using those accounts? How do they start accessing the systems that run the applications? And that's where really it's all about not just managing the account itself, but enabling the usage of the account so that they can actually use the systems, access, and get the security that they need.